From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Go Red Friday, February the 7th, 2014. In the news, public officials in Fairbanks are assessing the effects still from the closure of the North Pole refinery by June 1. AP reports North Pole Mayor Bryce Ward is saying that Flint Hills Resources accounts for roughly one-third of the city property tax base. The property accounts for 1.8% of the Fairbanks North Star Borough net assessed valuation. Golden Valley Electric Association spokesman Corey Borgeson says it's logical to expect an energy cost increase. The Alaska Railroad has been transporting at least 30 rail cars of jet fuel each weekday. Flint Hills will continue as a fuel terminal and a railroad spokesman says the closure may mean a change in rail use rather than a loss. A bill filed by State Representative Tammy Wilson would give the governor sole authority to ban the burning of wood in wood heaters, but only when air pollution reaches a level nearly three times higher than what Fairbanks has experienced this winter. Fairbanks has struggled to meet federal air quality standards, and the federal government has threatened sanctions if the state does not approve an acceptable local attainment plan. And an Anchorage Democrat has proposed protecting the Alaska Permanent Fund dividends in the state constitution. Representative Les Guerra told the House State Affairs Committee cutting the dividend would be the most regressive thing the state could do. He said with the state facing financial pressures, the first place people will look to help blunt the impact will be the dividend. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, decreasing clouds, high 6 to 14 above. Tonight, partly cloudy and colder with lows 16 to 25 below. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs between 3 and 11 below. The extended forecast, mostly clear and a fair amount colder for a stretch. Highs through Wednesday, not much above minus 5 and lows starting to get down to about 35 below. Air index is good in Fairbanks and North Pole and the Aurora forecast is moderate. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6, bringing you the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Have a great Olympic weekend.